So now we're going to be working with adding and subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. So we're going to start with the problem. One half. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. I need to make sure I have my... Uh, one half plus one third. Now as I look at this problem visually, I can go like this. That's one half, and then I can add this. That's one third. And I probably need to mark this is one third, and this is one half. And together, when I add them together, I'm going to, this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to one half and one third. And now I'm going to add them together. So that's my one half, correct? And then that's my one third right here. And the rest of it, I really have no idea. Okay. So how do we combine two things that aren't the same? They're not speaking the same language. Well, first and foremost, fifth graders, the first thing we have to do, we have to get them to teach to speak the same language. So let's get rid of that horrible, horrible example of how to solve this problem. And let's, let's figure this out. So when we think about how to get them to speak the same language, we can do one of two things. We can just choose a random language that we're going to make them speak, or we can combine them and look at them as a, as as two numbers and see where they would meet, where would be a, um, a common ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to split this problem a little bit, give, give us more space, okay? And then I'm going to ask myself, self, where do two and three meet? Well, two and three meet, and remember, we need to be multiplying here because that's how we change fractions. We multiply. Um, they, they're going to meet at well, if I skip count, if I skip count by twos, I'm going to go two, four, six, eight. And then if I skip count by three, I'm going to skip three, six. Six is the first number that came up and that was on both lists. Okay? So I'm going to change it to a six, and I'm going to change it to a six. Now, what did I do to two to get to six? Well, I times it by three. Whatever I do on one side, I'm going to do to the other. So it's three. And now I can get rid of this because I've, I've converted it to a new language. I've translated it, so to speak. All right, we're going to do the same. What did I do to 3 to get to 6? Well, I multiplied it by 2. Whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. And this is going to go to 2. Now that I've translated this, boys and girls, I can get rid of this. And what we've done, boys and girls, is we've converted both of these languages into 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this into 6. And this one now is split into 6. And let's put 6 here. And now, now that we have the same language, 6, 6, and 6, now that we're speaking the same language, we can add our numerators. And in this case, we have 3, 3, 6, which is 1, 2, 3, and then we have 2, 6, 1, 2, and now what we have total, we have 5, 6. So 3, 6, because now we're able to add the numerators, which would, I'm going to do, zoom in all the way over here, 5, and our language is 6. So that's how we do it. That's how we add um, fractions with unlike denominators. We get them to speak the same language, and then we um, work, and we, we then we're able to just add the fractions like we normally do. Let's look at another example here. Let's go with one-third plus one-fourth. Okay, now one of the things you should probably get used to is writing your problems with a little bit of space in between, plus one-fourth. Because if we look at that, boys and girls, we are not speaking the same language at all. Now, the secret, the difficult part is figuring out where they are going to meet. And the easiest way to do that is just look, just look at the 2 and multiply them together. Where do 3 and 4 meet? Well, 3 and 4 are going to meet at 3 times 4, which is, let's switch colors for this, which is 12. Which is 12. So now we have to ask, what did I do to 3 to get to 12? Well, I did it right here. I multiplied those two together. So I multiply times 4. Whatever I do to the bottom, I'm going to do to the top. 1 times 4 is 4. 
What did I do to 4 to get to 12? I multiply it by 3. Whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. 1 times 3 is 3. Now, we've translated, so we are able to get rid of this. And I want you to get used to getting rid of this so you don't accidentally add it up. And that's one of those careless mistakes that we make when we change a number and we don't cross it off fully or, and things like that. So now that we have the same language, the language of 12s, which I can just transfer over here, because when I add fractions, I don't change that. Now I can just add my numerators. 4 plus 3 is 7. So 1 third plus 1 fourth is 7 twelfths. All right, let's look at a subtraction problem, okay? And I could do, I'm could i not going to do it visually just because it gets kind of messy, but I'm going to take 5, 6, and I'm going to subtract 2 thirds. Now, the first thing we have to do is see where are these two languages going to meet. Six and third. Six and three. Well, conveniently, six and three are going to meet at six. So what I can do is I can just scoot this over, and I can keep five, six the same, but then I'm going to have to convert two-thirds to something over six. What did I do to the three to get the six? I times it by two. Whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. 2 times 2 is 4. Now I can get rid of this because I've already translated. And I have 5, 6, minus 4, 6. My answer is going to be something 6. And then 5 less 4 is 1. So the secret, boys and girls, and the process that we use is that we have to get our numbers, our fractions, speaking the same language. So we have to translate. All right, we translated one half and one third into three six and two six. We translated one third and one fourth into four twelfths and three twelfths. And we translated five six and two thirds into five six and four six. So that's, that's what we have to do. We have to translate them and get them speaking the same language. All right, normally the next video is just some more practice, and then the, the last video is going to be um, just practice on your own. We're going to switch it up a little bit. Next video, we're going to focus on addition of unlike fractions, and then the last, and there'll be a few problems for you to solve on your own. And then the last video is going to be subtraction. So we're going to separate addition and subtraction. It's the same process, but I just want to focus on one at a time. All right, so that's the end of video two.